Hello, kings and queens of first grade. This is Miss Ab, and I'm here to do the last video for this week. Um, and we are going to be finding equal equations. So let's go ahead and get started. And like always, I'm going to make myself small in the corner. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, first grade, this is Lola, and we are going to be finding equal equations. So it says, Dear Scholars, you will need these materials to learn with Lola today. We're going to need a whiteboard, a dry erase marker, and an eraser. And again, like always, you may also use a piece of paper and a pencil. And we're also going to need 20 counters in two different colors. And again, you guys can use things around your house like crayons or markers or pennies and dimes using two different kinds of coins. You guys can also use macaroni noodles. But if you don't have counters, just follow along with Miss Seb and she will show you the counters. Or I'll show you the counters on the screen. So remember Lola? Today, she is going to learn how to decide if equations are equal or not equal. So today, you and I are going to learn to decide if equations are equal or if they're not equal. So can we say hello to Lola? She says, hello, nice to see you again. Lola knows that the symbols used in equations have special meanings. The plus sign. The plus sign means added to. So whenever we see that plus sign, friends, remember we are adding. The minus sign. The minus sign means taken away from. So kings and queens, whenever we see that minus sign, we know that we are taking away. And the equal sign. The equal sign means the same value as. When talking about equations, it is important to use precise language. That means using the right words to talk about your thinking when you're thinking about math. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Lola and her brother both have some candy. Lola has three peppermints and three butterscotch candies. So three plus three is what we're going to put on that side. Lola's brother has two peppermints and four butterscotch candies. So we're going to put that on that side of our scale to see if they're equal. Do they have the same amount of candy? So let's look at Miss Sab's counters. I have three red plus three yellow for three plus three. And I get six. This time I have two red and four yellow for my equation for two plus four. And if I count those, I get six. So are both sides of the equation equal? Yes. Three plus three is equal to two plus four. So are they equal or not equal? We're going to circle equal because they are. Both sides have the same number. Let's try another one. All right, clear your counters and erase your equation. Lola and her brother both have some candy. Lola has five peppermints and nine butterscotch candies. So our equation will be five plus nine. Five plus nine. Lola's brother has six peppermints and four butterscotch candies. So our equation would be 6 plus 4. 6 red, 4 yellow. So if we were to count those, what number would we get to solve our equations? So what do you think? Do they have the same amount of candy? Yes or no? All right. 5 plus 9 is equal to 14, and 6 plus 4 is equal to 10, so we're going to write 10 there. Are both sides of this equation equal? 5 plus 9 equals 6 plus 4. Is that true? Are those equations equal? Oh, 
No, it looks like 14 is bigger than the sum of 10. So they are not equal. Let's try another one. Remove your counters and erase your equation. So again, Lola and her brother both have some candy. Lola this time has three peppermints and six butterscotch candies. So three and six. Lola's brother had 10 peppermints, but he ate one. So he had 10, but he ate one. So he had to take one away. Do they have the same amount of candy? Three plus six is equal to nine. 10 minus one is equal to nine. Are both sides of this equation equal? Three plus six equals 10 minus one. Are they equal or not equal? They are equal. We have a nine on both sides of our equation. Terrific. Now we're ready to start some more equal and not equal problems with me. Remember, we're also going to talk about how to make both sides of the equation equal. So here we go again with Lola. She says, hello, nice to see you. All right, Lola and her brother both have some candy. Lola has two peppermints and seven butterscotch candies. So two and seven. Lola's brother has six peppermints. He doesn't have any butterscotch candies yet. So six for the peppermints. Lola wants to make sure her brother has the same amount of candy that she has. How many more pieces would he need to have an equal amount? So how many more pieces does Lola's brother need in order to have the same amount as Lola? So 2 plus 7 equals 6 plus what number? How many more would I need in order to make that equation equal? So 2 plus 7 equals 9. 6 plus what number is going to give me 9? 1, 2, 3, 3 more. So if I add 3 more to 6, I get 9. So my answer would be three. Six plus three is equal to nine. So now my equations are equal. Two plus seven is equal to six plus three. Now we have the same, says Lola's brother. Let's try another one. Erase your equation. Lola and her brother both have some candy. Lola has five peppermints and seven butterscotch candies. So five and seven. Lola's brother has 14 peppermints. Wow, there's 14. Five plus seven equals 14. Do they have the same amount of candy? Are both sides of this equation equal? How many should Lola's brother put back so he and Lola have the same amount? So 14 minus what is going to give me the same number as 5 plus 7? So first we need to figure out that 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. So how many more do I need to put back from Lola's brother so that he has the same amount of candy? Looks like I need to put back 1, 2 in order to get the same as Lola. So my answer to the equation would be 2. 14 minus 2 would make that equation equal. So 5 plus 7 is equal to 14 minus 2. All right, now it's time for our exit ticket. What I need for you to do is draw a picture to show each side of the equal sign. Fill in the blanks. Circle whether the equation is true or false. So what you're going to do is circle the equation and write whether it is equal. And if it's equal, you're going to circle this. And if it's not equal, friends, you're going to circle this. So pause your screen for a second. Draw a picture to show each side of the equal sign. Fill in the blanks. Circle whether the equation is true or false or equal and not equal. All right. 
Thanks for watching this video with me, kings and queens. By now, you should now know and be able to understand how to make an equation equal. Thanks for learning with Lola. See ya.